Tasco, known as the Ciudad Museo or the Cuna de Puerto Rican Yedad, is a beautiful, underrated small town in western Puerto Rico whose area extends from Rincón and Mayaguez on one side all the way to the heart of the mountains bordering Las Marias. There are a number of wonderful things to see and do in this town that is both beachy and mountainous, filled with long flowing rivers. I'm Cassandra from Life Transplanet, and let me show you our favorite places in Añasco. which is the Balneario, the public uh, beach, and it has just reopened, and they have all these like cute little things where you can take pictures, they have the reference to Bad Bunny who filmed his 360 videos here, and of course the beautiful beach in the distance. We were here when this building was completely dilapidated and we were just wandering around, so they've done a lot of work, they've been painting it, and it all hooked up back to electricity, and I think they're going to, ustedes van a, van a rentar los, los, las casitas. And so they're going to start renting out all of the little booths and everything else. Here's some of the, the team Raya, who are yeah. <laughs> who have been helping to restore this beach. It's so beautiful. It's one of our favorite beaches anyway. And so now it's just going to be back to its glory. Yeah. That area. Puedo tirar otra. And then back here is the actual piscina de olas, and it is also in the shape of a castle. So uh, it's kind of fun. I think this neighborhood used to have some other kind of castle themes, but um, kind of neat. I've never been back here, and they just re recently opened this in just like a, a month ago. Um, so I don't know if it was ever a pool before that, but it's kind of fun that it's close to our house, and we get to go explore and have fun on this hot day, huh, Aiden? Come here. Are we gonna play in the water?
in the town of Añasco, you have to stop here at this beautiful mirador that overlooks the Añasco Bay. It has some really cute little places you can take pictures like this boat or the sign. It even has some really huge letters over here that you can uh, take some pictures with. And on the weekends, oftentimes they'll have some places where you can get some drinks or snacks too. Here we are at one of my favorite places in Añasco. It's called Salto de la Encantada, the Waterfall of the Enchanted Woman, which is a kind of cool name in and of itself. And over this river, over this little waterfall that we'll go visit here in a minute, they built this huge bridge. It's just like massive in size. It's been kind of left to, to the elements now. This is an abandoned park, but they built this huge bridge that you can cross this pedestrian bridge and then up above are a lot of old gazebos that were also made for this park um, and then beyond up above there is a basketball court and then another huge gazebo at the very very top so this place is very extensive but it has become completely overgrown let's go look Here's one of the little gazebos that we would often hang out at. Look how cool this is. It's very mysterious. And it's kind of sad that it's abandoned, but it also gives it a super kind of spooky feel. Mysterious and jungle-like. Look at these beautiful heliconias just hang hanging over the way. So here's another bridge, the little flow of water. And then up above here is another gazebo. So as you can see, this never got finished. This path is totally raw and uh, there's a gazebo there, kind of hidden, and there's another gazebo here. So if you come here, just make sure that you're careful and so you don't slip.
remnants of a basketball court. This is right here covered in vines, but that was one of the basketball hoops. There's another basketball hoop here. Some types. It's clear enough that you can see the benches or the, the bleachers where people can sit. So as you leave the park of the waterfall through these like kind of rotting wooden planks, then you'll start to come upon this staircase over here. So just be real careful because you don't know what condition the wood is. And it just started raining today, so it's a little bit more slippery. And then you'll you'll have easy access to the river itself. From down here, you can see the little waterfalls. They're not like a, like a huge waterfall, but it's a nice flow of water, as well as some little, little ponds. Nothing super deep to swim in, but uh, nice to, to cool off on a hot day. Another great place in Añasco to check out is, of course, the plaza. And here on this plaza has a beautiful church, a nice fountain. It has the Hector flag over here and some really old buildings from the time when this was a, uh, you know, kind of a colonial city. And look at this statue right over here. It's kind of a, a famous scene. Um, Añasco is known as la ciudad donde los dioses mueren. And, and that's because they believed at one point in time that um, the Spaniards were gods or so when they were kind of invaded they tested that theory and actually drowned one and found that they certainly weren't gods they could definitely die and uh, so this is one of those monuments to that time in history what are they doing Eden Rincon is known for its uh, 
art walk nights on Thursday, but Añasco has started to have its own art walk or Noche de Artesanía here on Friday nights. So come down to the plaza right now. They're getting set up to have some of their wares for the night as well as live music on the stage, which should be really fun.
beaten path. So this will take you underneath the bridge. Anyasco also has its own old sugar mill that's now in ruins, but um, this is all that really remains. And in the distance here, you can see some of the old artifacts of it, such as the, the big chimney. And now there's like a whole little neighborhood that's built here, um, whereas at one point in time, it would have been all you know, industrial. Pretty cool. <laughs> Here's another old building. I'm not sure how old it is. I think it was probably part of it. Some of the old remnants. In the house there is a container. I'm not sure what this was for, but it has some bricks. So it's probably part of the original structure. More of the structures. These look like the remnants of old rail tracks, which would have been used to transport the sugar and all throughout here would have been the fields and fields of the sugar cane. And now it's just a little neighborhood. Some huge posts that must have held up some type of structure. There's another one. And then in the distance there's the big chimney. This is Angela. He's the one of the Orange. of this area yes. and he's been telling us all about the history so thank you so much for sharing that you're welcome <laughs> so we talked with the the owners of the one of the owners of the land that's currently here and uh, he said that he was actually here at one point in time when it was still working sometime in the 80s um, and this was called haciendo or um, the sugar mill of igualdad the equality sugar mill was this the name of it and um, so at that point in time there were still the ramps there were still all the major buildings and they were still processing some of the sugar so um, just in about what 30 40 years it has um, now become a neighborhood
list of the top places to see in Añasco. Did I miss anything? Be sure to like and share this video so I can be sure to make more in the future. Ciao, bellos!